Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Tuesday, and I am getting ready Right now to, it's 921, well, my, and my appointment is at 1115, but I'm about to go have my first massage. <laughs> and um, John and I have been joking about it, but it is a guy. It was just, it, I told her I didn't care if it was a girl or a guy, because I really don't. But um, I just wanted to go ahead and have it done soon, and... So this was the first appointment. I went and talked to the girl yesterday. So, and I'm not sure, I told her my issues with my neck and everything, and I'm not sure if it's gonna be, what type of massage it's gonna be. I have to let you know how it goes, cause it's, you know, like my first one. So today, I just have on a tank top and leggings right now, and the only thing I've got to do is maybe run in the grocery store and go to the post office. So probably what I'm gonna do is just throw on a coat over this because I figured I probably needed something easy to get in and out of and it wouldn't matter if it got, you know, I don't know, massage oil or something. I don't know. I told John, I said, I'll probably be all greasy when I leave there. So, but I thought what I would do today is my concealer clean out. And I really don't have a lot of concealers. I mean, I do, I have a whole handful, but I bet that there's people that have more than I do. And I could probably, weed out I don't know there's probably two that I could get rid of that I never use or three maybe and then I've got I do have the two Chiclot that I bought a couple of months ago that I have only used like one or two times in my to sell pile because I'm just I'm not impressed at all it just it does nothing for me I much prefer the Maybelline Dream Lumi so I will get started with that and um, the two colors that I have are, let's see, Radiant, which is my favorite, and um, Shammy, or Buff, <laughs> Buff. And Radiant is my favorite. It has kind of a pinky tone, and this is my go-to. This is what I use probably 95% of the time. I have bought many, many, many of these. They're not expensive, and I just think it's a wonderful product. I use it for, I don't have any concealer on right now, so you can see like those little dark places right there. I didn't put any right here because I wanted to show you how well this Tarte concealer works. So I thought I would just do like a little demo too. So this is definitely one of my all-time favorites. The Radiant, I don't think it's supposed to be like a true, I think, Okay, so it says um, Dream Lumi Camouflage Luminator. Okay, so I guess it's supposed to be a little bit of a um, concealer too. But I think everybody could use the Radiant. It's kind of like got that correcting and brightening tone to it. And then if you want something that's not so bright, you could get whatever your skin color is. But Radiant is the one I like the most. Okay, two old ones that I have are the Hourglass Hidden Pearl Concealer, and I think I have another one here somewhere. If I have a 14, almost 15 year old daughter who likes to use my stuff too, and I usually don't mind. I mean, I'll tell her to go get everything, but I just know if I'm missing something, I need to ask her about it, and nine times out of ten, she knows where it is, and she'll give it back to me, so... This is much thicker, and this one is too. This is the Clay de Peau, and I'm not sure what color this one is. This one is ivory, and I think I've had beige in this too. Both of them are the stick form, and both of them are expensive, but will last forever. These are just not my favorite ones to use. If I really have really dark circles, like if I, when I'm using the Latisse, which I'm not anymore, now I'm using the new lash and I have no problems with darkening under the eyes with the new lash. That's, I had to use something more opaque like this, but um, I could really probably get rid of these and never miss them. It's just one of those things, they're good and I wanted to try them and I did use them for a while, but I've kind of moved on. So that's the Hourglass and the Clay de Peau. But a lot of people really live by this Clay de Peau because it's serious. It's can really give you some good coverage. The secret is to just rub your finger on the end of it and to really just pat it right in. Let's see, I've got some mascara. Right in that darkness right there. Okay, 
This is not a concealer, but this is a corrector. It is a Giorgio Armani Master Corrector, and I get number one. I have people ask me all the time why I get number one, because I don't know. I don't even know what they say this is for. This is the one that the makeup artist sent me. She knew what I looked like, and she knew what I wanted, and I believe Donna. Um, oh, gosh. Donna, Donna, you've been gone so long. I'm forgetting your YouTube name, but Donna, you know who I'm talking about. I'll put her name right here. She recommended this, and this is a go-to. I have not had to use it as much lately because I haven't had as much darkness. And <clears throat> to be honest with you, I've gained weight since the summer. I hope to lose about half of it. I think I had gotten down maybe a little too thin, but I want to try to lose maybe five pounds. But the thing is, the five pounds helps my face so much more. It really fills in like my cheeks. And um, when I start losing weight, I start getting those kind of lines right here. So what are you gonna do, I tell you? <laughs> That's why I kind of go back and forth. I kind of just enjoy my face when I'm, you know, higher up, and then I enjoy wearing skinnier clothes when I'm lower. So anyway, this is an all-time favorite. I can't praise it enough. I will never be without it. This is probably, they last a long, long time. I would say this is my third or fourth one that I've had. And, um, okay, let's see. This is another one along the same lines as the Maybelline Dream Lumi. This is the Radiant Rose Prep and Prime Highlighter, and it's another clicky pen. And um, it's killing me not to put it on right now, but this is very similar to the Dream Lumi. Maybe a little bit more opaque. I really like it. You have to be careful not to get it too too much of it because I think it can leave kind of like an ashy, you know, look to your skin if you don't blend it in well enough. And see, I like to use my concealer the very, very end. I'm not one who does the um, whole triangle thing. It just doesn't work well on me. I think it's just the shape of my face or something. And so I use this, about, usually it's a the very last thing. Maybe the very last thing would be my Makeup Forever HD powder in my T-zone, but this is like the next to the last thing would be my concealer. So sometimes that one can get ashy on me, but I do like it. And I think, this thing is my first one. It has lasted a long time. Okay, this is one that a lot of you guys really, really like a lot. And I have tried it and tried it. It is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. And I'm not sure which one. Oh, this is the Illuminator. And I tried the regular color that I would take, like a beige or something. I wasn't that crazy about that this one is a little bit better because that's usually what I want is just some brightness under my eyes to kind of you know if you put something bright in those darker spots then you'll see when I put this on it just really lifts everything and brightens you up it just makes you look so much younger and fresher and happier and all that good stuff so this one is one I could probably get rid of I just you know everybody else uses it so I had to try it but it's not one of my favorites. I know a lot of people really like that one though. Okay, and then this, I don't know how I have ended up with just two of these, or just one each of these. I have two of these that my friend Lisa sent me from the UK, and this is the Lasting Perfection Collection 2000 16 Hour Concealer, and this is the NARS Creamy Concealer, Radiant Concealer. This is Custard. I love both of these. Now, if I ever do want to do a little bit more of that center of the face highlighting, this is the best one. And I like to mix two colors. And I've probably been mixing these two, if I had to say, which um, I don't know if they would be the two to mix, but I would um, guess that Brooke has my other ones. But I love both of these. I re they're, they're basically the same, and to me, what makes these special is that they really dry. Like they don't take a long time to blend out. They really just kind of blend in and dry right in your skin. They don't leave my skin looking ashy. They're brightening. I mean, I really don't have anything bad to say about it. It's far as sinking in your lines. I know the other day I mentioned that forever, I just thought if you used concealer, you were gonna have creases around your eyes. And I think that is because the first time I really, really, really started getting into concealer was Bobbi Brown. 
And, you know, they do that whole thing where they teach you not to even bring your foundation up to your eyes. They want you to do the whole area with their corrector and their concealer. And when they do it at the counter, you look in the mirror and you're just like, oh my gosh, you know, it just looks so good. And so you buy all those products and it's like you can never achieve that again. Because if you do, and even that time, as soon as you get out to the car, it's like all cracked and crazy looking. Even with the little yellow powder that they have, I just, and I kept doing it and doing it. And, you know, and then it would get to the point where I just would go without concealer and I felt like that looked better than having all that makeup cakey under my face. So I went through that whole thing. And then I think I tried the Jane Iredell, their concealer, their secret concealer or whatever it is, which is also kind of thick like that. I haven't tried the Laura Mercier, but I'm so happy with what I have. And I've got some real good options to show you that I don't think I'll ever go that pot route again, just because maybe it's just because my eyes are aging and you know a lot of other people probably can i see people take that and you know what i think i i even have let me go look for one more thing that i have that's real popular I'll this be right one back. i knew i had a pro long wear i asked the girl what color would be best for me and i think maybe i got the wrong color to do what i want i got nc30 and that's i even had this in my foundation i could use one half a pump of this for foundation if i wanted a heavy coverage so that's why i had it in my foundation basket so um i feel like i cannot be the judge of this one because i feel like i don't have the right color and i don't think it works well on me but i notice everybody i see them this is what i was going to say i see them taking this and doing that whole big section with it. If I did that, I cannot even imagine what I would look like. I would look like I was 95, the Crypt Keeper, by the time the day went. And I am very expressive. So, you know, I'm going to have, I don't like to get Botox on the sides of my eyes because I don't mind having smile lines. Um, I have gotten Botox on the sides of my eyes before and I did not like the way it looked. I didn't like the way it felt when I was out in the sun. It almost kept me from being able to squint. And I don't like the way it makes my cheeks bunch up. So I don't have Botox. I, the only place I get Botox is right here in between my brows. So, a little side note. And um, so with me, if I use too heavy of a concealer, it really cakes really bad. So. That's, you'll have to tell me, you guys or you girls that are my coloring, or you makeup artists out there, what color I would need of this, and let me go get a sample and try it and give it a fair shot. So that's all I can really say about this one. And I really wish this little pump thing, one, wasn't as messy, and two, it's so hard to get just a little itty bit out. It almost needs to be in a squeeze tube, I think. Okay, so there goes that. And then these awesome i mean i'll keep them i'll use them this is my go-to for the whole if i want to do that look like sherry curry does or um any of those looks that are more real bright down the center of the face these are the ones i would go to for that okay so we're coming down to my favorites as far as if i don't use the maybelline and those would be either the clarins instant concealer in number two or the tarte maracuja creaseless concealer and i have looked all over this tube when i was writing it in the description and cannot find the name on this tube and if you can tell me where it is i'll be glad to tell you but for some reason i'm thinking it's light sand beige that's one plus about this there are i bet there were eight or ten different colors in this and I had the makeup artist at Ulta help me decide which one to get and it was a pretty good match now this one there's only three different choices so but this one is um, let me show you I would do one on one side and one on the other but they're pretty different colors this is number two and it is more of a just kind of like my skin tone it's not as thick the Pixie Woo is the one who really was raving on and on about this. But it blends right in in coverage. I mean, you can see it just covers. And it is very 
not tacky but not dry I know some people hate the word moist <laughs> but um it that's what it is the M word and um, see it's glowy it's I don't have to set this one it stays like that it's you know as long as I don't put too much on usually what I do is put it on the back of my hand and then just pat it in and I like it but you can see it is more of that um, salmon type tone salmon beigey tone okay so I that's easy I can just throw it on you know it's not as easy as like the dream loomy or something but this one has been if I really want to take time and just really I want to make everything look good it's wonderful I got this suggestion from Dominique um, from Texas I told you guys about her channel I, everybody I mention usually in every video I'll try to put them down below so you know who I'm talking about and so she just went on and on about it so I tried it and this All is the secret need is it's kind of like as soon as you see this stuff come out like that just get some on your finger and I either pat it on the back of my hand or just rub it between my fingers like that and here we go I take this and I go right in don't go in the fatty part of your eye under eyes the bag part <laughs> go in the part that hollows out and that's what you're really combating anyway is shadows you want to kind of combat those shadows that come down on your face so just go right in this little part and then I have some darkness out here that I go it's actually some veins the thinner and older I get the more they show so I'm gonna go like that and then I like to use this finger so I'm gonna go like that and kind of put it where you want it first then I like to look at the difference this will make I'd like to just take what's left and go like that and then around my nose and just right down that little see the big difference how it just brightened and kind of makes your face I don't know I hate to say flatten out but it takes away all those shadows so and then I just blend it out not too much just like that and then this part so this is not a lot it's just basically what's left on my fingers and then you can see I have more on this eye so I will try to put some over here and then I take my finger and I go up in there and I just keep patting patting it out and like I told you I got those little baby beauty blenders thinking because you don't want I've even tried to use my ring finger and my pinky you know they tell you that's the weakest finger that's what you should use around your eye well that isn't as precise with me um, so I usually use my index or my middle finger usually my middle finger and um, I just try to use just like this so I can keep it right in that area like this and if I feel like it is showing too much and I need to blend it out I just kind of come down and then I kind of go down the side of my nose too because um, you know people tell me I need to quit contouring the sides of my nose I don't I just have such a thin nose that that's a shadow it just happens you know I don't so sometimes I even try to come down the sides of my nose to make my nose look not so thin and then if I have any left you know I'll you know maybe put it in an area like this and then you can if you wanted to get all fancy you could take just a little bit more I mean just that much and you could kind of blend it right here which is kind of like a reverse contour and just blend it up like that and today I was kind of playing around with my makeup and I did a little, someone asked me if I could do an Angelina Jolie makeup tutorial and this is basically my idea of an Angelina Jolie makeup tutorial if I try to do those like Candy Johnson did a really good one and then um, the girl that I told you about not too long ago that does the really good tutorials she did one I'll put her name right here I'll put those two videos down there if I really do those I look you know this is just my inspired Angelina Jolie inspired makeup tutorial or makeup and I was just gonna go I didn't want to wear false lashes to get a massage <laughs> 
So anyway, so you can see how good that works, but I don't know if you can see that it has stayed a little bit tacky. And so that is when I decided to try the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Now I did ha do have the Le Mate de Beauté Refresh Powder that my friend Rhonda sent me a while ago, and this works well too. So it just depends on if you want something that is just going to be like a skin tone and brightening. I've even used this as eyeshadow, an eyeshadow base. And this doesn't have any like reflective type properties. It's just a light, good setting powder. And I believe you can use it for several different things. Eye brightening and setting powder. And then this is the same thing. So as you can see, just by shaking that, it's coming up. This is that fine texture. And so I'm going to do... Um, both of them on either side and we'll see if we can tell the difference and I'll zoom in I guess this won't make a big enough difference that um, I, I zoomed to that all the way in it's not very far in okay so I'm going to use this brush I've been using which is the 300 real techniques their new brush and I got some on there so I'm going to just kind of do that with that so you can see it takes away that shininess which the shininess will accent that puffy part, so you don't want it to be shiny under there. And this concealer does not crease. It is, neither one of these do. It's amazing. These are the fullest coverage concealers I have ever used that don't crease. Okay, and then this brightening powder, I didn't open it all the way. I've just been kind of sprinkling a little bit out in the lid here and then kind of trying to fluff it in my brush. And then I will kind of do the same thing see if you can tell a difference I think this has a little bit more like reflective type properties in it oh gosh I put some on this side okay sorry it's a habit of doing both sides but you got to see which ones you can always go back <laughs> sorry I'm gonna go ahead and just make a match now so I'm gonna put a little bit of this over here and I always try to put a little bit out here where my darkness is and those lovely veins and everything so that is what a difference it makes isn't it amazing so I just don't go around with creasy concealer don't think that you have to just the biggest thing you're gonna have to do is pat it in with your finger I think that does better than any brush you could use I used to use the Bobbi Brown blending brush and then I used the Bobbi Brown concealer brush your fingers they do the best work even better than the beauty blender in my opinion for me and um, make sure you don't try to carry it up too far or too far out try to keep it in just that little area and get a good setting powder both of these are awesome I, this is probably less expensive this is not as messy and it might not You'll just have to maybe try them at the counter if you're lucky enough to live by a counter that you can try this. And then just play with your brushes also. So that is, see how you can tell such a big difference? And then this right here, like if you need to blend it out a little bit more, I usually don't worry about it. And as um, far as powdering this, I maybe would go over it with the Makeup Forever, but probably not because I don't mind if my the outside of my face is glowy. I just, you know, worry about the T-zone just because, and it's not even that I'm that worried about it being shiny. It just will make your whole face look better if your T-zone isn't shiny. And um, so throughout the day, I will just blot if I want to get rid of some of that shininess. And um, I so, did, just to update you on the mascaras, I know that mascaras are only supposed to be for three months, but some of those mascaras, it's not like I opened them all the time. Some of those mascaras I had opened and used maybe twice, and then they haven't been opened in another month or two. But I did end up throwing away a lot of those mascaras. The only ones I kept um, are the really recent ones. Today I used, so you could see, 
And another thing with the Angelina Jolie makeup is I did not use false lashes, like I said. And you pull your mascara, instead of doing it more up and your lashes all in, you want your lashes to go more out and give that like cat eye effect. And so that's what I did. And I used the, which one was it? It was the um, Marcel Curling Mascara from Canada. I used that as a base and then I used the Chanel volume over it, which I love that Chanel volume. That mascara is just phenomenal. So, I hope, let me see if there's anything else. I am really letting my brows grow out. You can see this one is kind of filling in right there. You have to let me know what you think. I'm trying to get, I really don't want that real arch look anymore and I want to just see what they look like when they're just basically natural. The only ones I've been plucking are the ones that are just crazy, like out here or down here or something like that. So, I hope this was a little bit of help to you. And um, it's helping me because I am cleaning out and giving so, away stuff. Um, I, I'm probably going to clean out some of these and give them either concealers I wouldn't just give to anyone. I would either give it to my mom or Brooke or throw them away. So, I hope you guys have a good day. Let me, I don't really have hey, what I was going to say today. is it is getting ready to get cold here. Cold for us in North Carolina, in Wilmington, and I think Thursday it's going to be as cold as it's been. So, I, what I was going to say is I'm looking forward to wearing my Spirit Hood coat because that one is so heavy and just warm and fuzzy and has that cool hood. So, I will try to at least do an Instagram post that day if I don't make a video. But, so I'm looking forward to that. And, um no jewelry today i will probably even take my wedding ring off before i go in there because i figured um i don't know i don't know yesterday i, mean, I had, had a manicure so. something else i wanted to tell you this color is so pretty it is the sweetest neutral pink it reminds me so much of the confetti by orly that is i, I don't know if it's sold anymore or not but this is the cnd negligee and it was not the weekly shellac type formula it was just a regular formula because when i tried to find it online was, she post kept saying picture. that weekly one but it wasn't because she showed me the i mean i saw the bottle so anyway love that um tell me what you think about and so wish me luck look. <laughs> and um let me know what you want me to do next i'm um, gonna we'll try to go through all of my makeup maybe bronzers or Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to go through my mineral powders. I have so many mineral powders, and I can go ahead and tell you right now, it all comes down to me, to Laura Mercier, but I can at least tell you what I think of all the other, probably 10 or 15 other ones, and then maybe give them a better home and clear out. So I will probably do mineral powders next, and um, then we'll move on. And someone said hair products, and if I do hair products, I'll have to do it like hairspray, you know, break it up like that. So, this is fun. <laughs> okay, so I'll see you Friday. I did get a gift, two gift packages yesterday, and then I got an order that I got in the mail. So, I will have a Friday haul this Friday. We'll see if it kind of wears out. And um, so, anyway, I'll quit talking to you. I'm going to let you go. Talk to you soon. Bye.